right, welcome nerds. I'm Miss Westmoreland and I have a really fun lesson for you for today. We are gonna be building paper airplanes. All right, so I've included some videos um, for you to watch. If you're a kindergarten through second grader, there's a video, it's a SciShow Kids for you to watch, and it's actually gonna tell you a little bit about how to build paper airplanes and what kind of the forces are that are at work to help it fly. And you're gonna build a plane very similar to this if you follow the instructions in the video, or you could build your own plane. If you're a third through sixth grader, there's another video um, by Wired and it's got the world record distance plane. And there's a guy in the video, John Collins, who built the plane, and he's gonna teach you a little bit about how it's built. You're gonna build a plane a little bit more like this if you wanna follow those instructions. Um, then after that, for both, for all grade levels, I also included a Science Max video on forces of flight, which is also really fun. That one's a little bit longer, it's 22 minutes long, but super fun. They have another plane that you can build there too. So after you've watched these videos and learned a little bit about paper airplanes and how to fold them, we're gonna do um, some trial runs with your planes. So you're, all you're gonna need today is paper. Regular copy paper actually works best. Use whatever you have though, but regular copy paper, usually the best, and you need some sort of measuring device. A measuring tape, as long as you can get it, would be best, but if you don't have that, we can always use like a ruler and set it out. Um, maybe outside would actually be the best place to do this because your parents are probably trying to work. So if you go out in your backyard and you, all you have is a ruler, you could maybe just set it down, place a rock every foot, and then that way you have your own measuring system outside. If you do have measuring tape, just pull it on out. If, it's, if your plane goes farther than that, maybe you can add some additional rocks to go even farther than your measuring tape. Okay, so I actually already have a measuring tape. This is the longest part of my house, so I'm gonna be throwing my plane this way and we're gonna do some tests with it. So when you're ready, you're gonna set up a paper, just again, pull another piece of paper and we're gonna set it up like this. You're gonna have a test. We're gonna test, we're gonna, we're gonna throw it and then see how far it goes. So you're gonna write down your distance and as it's flying, you need to pay attention because you're gonna write down your observations. Then we have to pay attention to like when, once we've made an observation, how are we gonna change our plane to try to make it work better? So. Um, John Collins in the one that's about the world record plane, he's gonna talk about, a little bit about how people think that they don't know how to fold a plane very well, which is not actually true. He said, people can fold an airplane, they just don't know how to adjust it. So once you've built your plane, it's actually probably a good plane, you just have to tweak it a little bit to get it to fly really well. So our goal is to try to get it to fly as far as possible, and in order to do that, you really want it to fly straight. So let's go ahead and do a test. I'm gonna use this plane today. Micah, Mr. Micah's gonna go be my plane retriever. Actually, I don't have a very good angle right here. Let's see, let's see, okay. All right, here we go. All right, not bad. I was observing as it flew. It kind of turned a little bit to the left. Are you gonna throw it back to me? Or are you gonna, <laughs> don't throw it back to me. I won't be able to catch it. All right, so it kind of curved a little bit to the left. So how far did it go, Mr. Micah? 15. 15 feet? Okay, so my distance was 15 feet. My observation was it like turned and it kind of tilted to the left and then kind of went down like this. So it tilted to the left and down. Okay, so I'm going to try to adjust and make a small change. I'm going to put a little bit of an elevator. I'm just going to bend, not fold. I'm just going to bend this up right here. And I'm gonna squish this up a little bit too. So the change I'm making is on the left side, I'm gonna put a bend in the wing. Bend in left wing. All right, let's see if this works better. Okay, still went to the left, but way better. Much better. Much better, how far was that one? 22. Okay, test two was 22 feet. And then slightly, still a little bit to, to the left. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to make changes to my plane and keep testing to try to get the farthest distance I can with this plane. Now, once you're done with this plane, and it might be, mm, 
getting some like <laughs> squished in the front. So if you want to build another plane, fold another plane, do it. If you want to try a different design, definitely try a different des design. Maybe try your own design. There's infinite possibilities here. So you can be folding and changing and testing your plane as many times as you want. I, could, I would say I work on this for like 20 minutes at least. Fold planes, change planes, um, make it awesome. If you're really into this, um, there's, I'm gonna include a, a one more extension video and it's how to fold some trick planes. And let me tell you real quick, they are hard to fold. So you're gonna start that video and you're gonna be, even when I was folding this one, following those directions, you're gonna hit play on that video and you're gonna pause it at every single step. And you're gonna check your plane, you're gonna fold your plane very carefully and then just stop it. It's gonna take you a while to fold. Totally worth it though, it's really fun. Um, but just keep in mind that those, those planes are tricky to fold and uh, you will need to pause a lot on that video. Okay, I hope you have a fun time. Build all the planes. Have at it.